So here's a question. Would you hire a convicted felon? One man is working very hard right now in Dallas. He's trying to make this happen because he was a convicted felon himself until the state realized he was innocent. R.C. Pickett shares his story. Willard Wiley's job is all about finding the flaws, fixing anything out of place before guests staying at the Lovefield Embassy Suites arrive. Hello, engineering. This job is also a testament to opportunity despite his own flaws. 25 years in prison after taking a life, this now employee of the year sees the job as a vital tool for rebuilding his life. Here it is, I, I got my opportunity to be somebody. Wiley is a rarity, a convicted felon in Dallas, given a chance to find stable work. The well, first thing we have to do is change the mindset of the individuals returning home from prison to let them know that you are not your past. Richard Miles helped make it happen. 15 years ago, God reassured me that this day will come. That's Richard Miles six years ago, a convicted killer awaiting full exoneration for a murder he did not commit. His wrongful conviction put him on the rightful path of miles of freedom. His South Dallas-based operation works to help men and women like Willard Wiley connect with companies. One of our star employees came from his organization. Tice Jones, the Embassy Suites manager, has now hired six Miles of Freedom participants. You know, everybody makes a mistake. Some of these are a little larger mistakes than other people have, but still give them an opportunity. To help a person stay out of prison is beneficial to me. And Willard Wiley and others like him are the beneficiaries of Miles of Freedom. In Dallas, Steve Pickett, CBS 11 News. And Miles of Freedom works out of the MLK Community Center in Dallas. Miles of Freedom is a nonprofit, by the way, started with funds given to Richard Miles for the years that he actually served as being a wrongfully convicted criminal. And he takes that, puts the money to good yeah, use. Amazing.